This is GTA 4 we're here bringing you my very first ever video. Um, I'm going to start doing more jailbreak videos and showing you guys how to get certain tw um, tweaks and other themes and all that good stuff. So today I will be showing you how to get um, flag paint. Flag paint customizes your notification bar. So every time you get a text message you won't get that boring gray bar letting you know you have a text message. You will get a nice colorful one. So let's just get right to it. So first you will need to go to um, Cydia. Um, as you can see I already kind of looked it up. But um, the you will be needing a source. The source will be uh, Xlease if you haven't yet added it. Um, it's Cydia.Xlease.com. I will be putting the, dis um, the link on the description. So after you add the source... You can go to search and you can search up flag paint. We'll do it again. It's F L A G P A I N T. Um, you don't have to search. You just click on Exilis right here, second one in, and you can install that. Like right where it says modify, will say install. Just install and confirm. After you respring your device, um, you can go to your settings. As you can see, um, I just got a text message. It shows like in green. That's how that's what flag paint does. Um, after you go down to your settings and you find flag paint, you can click on it. It's gonna show you this. You just click agree. I'm not really sure what the YouTube terms and conditions are about this stuff, but I mean, whatever happens happens. But these are the settings for flag flag paint. I'm gonna show you like a little test banner. So that's how it's gonna show. Um, it gives you the notification like the icon. And it also paints the notification bar the color of the icon. So if you have a text message, how, how I had it before, it will be green. If you have a app store, like a update, it will be blue. If Facebook it will be dark blue. So it's pretty neat. Um, so let me show you how to like customize or what things do here. Um, tint background will be the actual tint, like how it colors your notification bar of the color of the icon. As you can see, I'm sure right here. See, it still shows you the icon, but it won't be pink as it was before. It'll still be gray. So I would suggest turn on tint background. It will be a little bit pops out more. So that's how it would look with tint on the album artwork. Like let's say you listen to Pandora or Spotify, um, whatever song pops up, it will give you a notification. It will be the color of the application you're using. So I'm figuring Spotify would be like green, and then Pandora would be like dark blue. Um, old on tint style. Um, you don't really have to worry about it. Um, I really don't. Actually, I really don't know exactly what it is, but it's just from what I read right there. You can read it as well. It's not really that important, so you can really just ignore that. Um, you can make it uh transparent, like semi-transparent or not or not transparent whatsoever. So you can see like that, that will be like not transparent, and then this will be transparent. You can remove the icon, like how it has the iTunes store. See, you can do it like that. I I like it better with the icons in there. You can also center your text, so instead of being a little bit pitched over to the, like the left, you can make it right in the middle. Um, you can make it fade in or just pop up. So that's how that's popping up, and then this will be faded in. So you can mess with the settings, put it to however you like. I wish there was more settings to it. You can actually put like textures and stuff. But hopefully they'll update it and add more stuff to it. So this is how you get flag paint. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a nice night or day, whichever one. Alright, peace.